Sometimes, out of nowhere, you just feel the urge to clean up your computer desktop, even if it's been working just fine. You might not even tidy your room that often, but no worries. Cleaning your desktop is way easier. Just one click and all those files vanish. Clean and simple. But here's the thing. Those files aren't really gone. They only appear to be. Each file contains data that includes what's called an invalid bit. If that bit is flipped to zero, the file becomes invisible. But the actual data is still there, preserved in the form of ones and zeros. Digital forensics takes advantage of this principle to recover deleted data. Data that looks like it's gone but isn't. And there's a place in the universe where something similar happens. The most mysterious object in the universe, the black hole. Anything that falls into a black hole never comes back. And for a long time, it seemed like the information about that matter was lost, too. But that doesn't make sense. According to the Law of Conservation of Information in Quantum Mechanics, information can neither be created nor destroyed. Information that must not disappear, yet black holes seem to erase it. This contradiction led to what's known as the information paradox. To resolve this paradox, scientists proposed a bold hypothesis. What if it's not a paradox at all? What if both sides are actually correct? Just like deleted files aren't really gone but simply hidden within the data, maybe the information that falls into a black hole isn't destroyed but transformed into a form we can't observe. If that's true, it could solve the information paradox. In 2015, Stephen Hawking proposed that the information of objects falling into a black hole isn't lost, but instead stored on the event horizon in the form of a hologram. A hologram is a way of projecting three-dimensional information onto a flat, two-dimensional surface. Everything around us exists in 3D space. But when those materials fall into a black hole, their 3D information is converted into a 2D form and mapped onto the event horizon. Just like how a camera captures a 3D scene and records it as a 2D image. In other words, a black hole doesn't erase matter. It encodes its information in a lower dimensional form. In fact, when a black hole consumes an object, its mass increases. And as a result, the surface area of its event horizon expands. According to Hawking, if we store one bit of information per Planck length unit on the event horizon, we can account for all the quantum information of everything the black hole has swallowed. Isn't that a little too precise to be mere coincidence? Some scientists take it a step further, offering a bold and fascinating hypothesis. What if we're already inside a black hole? What could that possibly mean? What would happen if our entire universe had fallen into some enormous black hole? We'd probably experience a world that feels completely normal. From the outside, it might look like a flat 2D surface, almost like something inside a screen. But from within, sharing the same dimensions, we'd never notice anything strange. That's because all the information is stored on the event horizon, yet it would still feel like events are happening in full 3D space. So who's to say it hasn't already happened? Come to think of it, our universe does have its share of strange features. Why is there a limit to what we can observe? And why is nothing allowed to move faster than light? The answer is often hidden within the question itself. And sometimes, by simply changing how we ask it, we can begin to see the answer. Maybe we, and our universe, exist here and now precisely because we don't move faster than light. A theory that explains everything in the universe is called a theory of everything. So far, the leading candidate is string theory, which suggests that our universe is made up of 10 or even 11 dimensions. What's especially fascinating is that the holographic principle actually holds in string theory. Maybe the world we experience is a holographic projection of a higher dimensional reality, one that exists somewhere in 10 or 11 dimensions. Like a shadow cast on the pavement on a sunny day, perfectly mimicking our every move, maybe the me that exists here is just a three-dimensional shadow of the real me, somewhere in the 10th or 11th dimension. A black hole inside a black hole, and another black hole inside that black hole. How many layers deep are we now? Which shadow are we? 